I'd like to welcome you back today for another episode of Global Epidemics. Today's topic is a topic that I've been hearing about a lot, I've been depressed by, but I don't really know much about. It's cholera. And I've invited Dr. Barr here again, and she always gives us such great insight and understanding, and we're gonna start out with a really basics question. Um, welcome, Dr. Barr. Hi, Priya. What is what is cholera? Well, cholera is an infection of the small intestine by a bacteria called Vibrio cholera. Okay. So break it down for me a little bit. Um, what causes cholera? Uh, cholera is transmitted through contaminated water sources. Um, there can also be secondary transmission, say if you, uh, someone who's preparing your food uh, doesn't wash their hands uh, because it can be transmitted through feces as well. Um, if they don't wash their hands and then they're preparing your food, you can have secondary transmission that way. Also, um, for example, shellfish living in contaminated water sources, if you eat them and they're contaminated, you can get cholera that way as well. So, like I mentioned, I'm aware that cholera can cause death. But what are the symptoms of cholera? Uh, symptoms of cholera include profuse, watery diarrhea and vomiting. And this leads to rapid dehydration and electrolyte imbalance. That does not sound comfortable no. or fun. Ay ay ay. So, I want to move on to how can we treat it? Uh, the primary way to treat cholera is through oral rehydration. We want to get those fluids back in the body that um, these patients are losing from diarrhea and vomiting. Um, and if you aren't tolerating oral solution, then um, IV solution. And also, if the infection is severe enough, then antibiotics can be beneficial. Okay, so I get a better understanding of what it would be like to have cholera, but how many people are actually living with cholera? Um, how many people has it affected? Well, uh, worldwide it affects three to five million people and oh. causes 100,000 to 130,000 deaths a year as of 2010. And um, in Haiti alone, which we're hearing a lot about right now, 